have a legacy for her daughter too. Time now for another check of the forecast as we check in with Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Are we talking about record temps tomorrow? Yeah, we almost broke one yesterday. It was 80 yesterday, today upper 70s. Tomorrow's record's only 78, so it's actually much easier to break that record. But in the morning, because of all the heat and humidity we have overnight, we're going to see some dense fog. And it's always a good reminder, make sure you're using the low beams. If you use your, your high beams, which a lot of people think will help you out, you actually make it worse because these tiny water droplets that fog has really bounces the light right back in your face. So you want the low beams or the fog lights, which are lower to the ground, kind of go under the fog instead of bouncing right back at you. So just be careful tomorrow morning. It's definitely going to be some really low visibility in spots. It is definitely going to make for some rough travel. So give yourself extra time and extra space between you and the other vehicles. And remember, keep those lights on even after sunrise. If there's fog out there, certainly will help with the visibility. Now, once the fog is gone, that sun comes out. Yeah, we're in the low 80s tomorrow. I think 81 is very doable tomorrow afternoon, and that would break the record, which is currently 78 degrees set way back in 1938. We actually had one record uh, for Sunday, the record warm low temperature. It was 68 degrees for a low temperature on Sunday, which is the warmest we'd seen on November 6. You could see the rain chances this week really start to spike Friday, Saturday. That's going to be an interesting system because that potentially will be coming from a tropical system down over parts of the Caribbean right now. You see the fog in the morning, maybe some drizzle or mist mix in there, but pretty dry for the middle of the week. Sunny skies will be around for Tuesday and into Wednesday as we start to see some cooler conditions. But the next system we'll watch is actually right here. It's a low pressure that's already starting to develop. It's got a name. It's called Investigation Area 98. If it gets a, a name storm, it'll become Nicole. But we're starting to monitor this closely. It's likely going to be a tropical storm or a subtropical storm probably in the next 24 to 36 hours. Doesn't look very organized now, but there is a low level center there. The, the system heads towards Florida, then it moves off the coast of the Carolinas, and it's probably going to stay to our east, but it will spread rain in here because it'll get a squeeze play between that high pressure to the north Thursday, Friday into early Saturday, and that will throw deep tropical moisture into the Carolinas. So depending on the track, we could see some heavy rain in parts of the Piedmont, but along the coast for sure, we're going to see heavy rain there and possibly in the mountains as well do that upslope. You see that swath of heavier rain there, maybe a couple of inches. So we'll keep a close eye on this, but this could be a real soaker for the end of the week. Here's our long range feature cast kind of showing this system developing. It looks like a nor'easter more than a tropical system, but the impacts are all the same. Surge on the coast, wind, and obviously the heavy rain, and then a stronger front will arrive as we go into next week, bringing much colder temperatures for the whole country, really. I mean, below average temperatures for the middle of the month. So we're going to go from this record breaking heat to temperatures likely below average by we, by the time we get into next week. Now, Tuesday morning, we will have a full uh, moon as well as a total lunar eclipse. So something to check out early in the morning. We won't see the end of this because the moon's going to set. But if you're up early on Tuesday morning, check that out. That lunar eclipse should be spectacular coming up on Tuesday morning. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperature is very warm this week, but then we start to cool down. And by next week, we're talking about highs maybe only in the low 50s. Well, look at that last taste of the 80s. Thanks, mm -hmm. Brad. <laughs>